Hundreds gathered in Roslyn Square today for an independence exhibition featuring the unveiling of a set of commemorative 40th anniversary stamps. There was also an exhibit put on in the Senate building. Now the commemorative stamps bear the images of outstanding Bahamians including Rhodes Scholars, members of the Royal Bahamas Defense Force HMBS Flamingo, and framers of the Constitution. Our Cyan Thompson has more. Right Honorable Perry Christie opening the historic exhibition that features the framers of the Constitution and Journey to Independence. Prime Minister Christie stated that these items will be educational tools for generations to come. The items on display are meant to further educate the Bahamian public and inculcate a respect and appreciation for Bahamian history and the personalities involved. Minister of Transport and Aviation, the Honorable Glennis Hannah Martin, spoke of the importance of highlighting outstanding Bahamians who are featured on the commemorative stamps. This issuance of stamps depicts important aspects of our national ethos. Those aspects that today on our 40th anniversary of nationhood we celebrate and hold high for the whole world to see. See how the world marks the manner of our bearing, pledged to excel through love and unity. Former Governor General, the Honorable A.D. Hanna, told the audience that we need more programs to educate Bahamians about how this nation was built. We don't know how we achieved independence. But we knew there was independence. It was written there at the time. Meantime, current Governor General, His Excellency Sir Arthur Folks, gave examples of how the story of the Bahamas could be told. We not only have to write it, but we have to use modern methods, multimedia, to communicate it to our young people. The public can view the exhibitions at the Senate and the Post Office. For the ZNS Network News, I'm Cyan Thompson.